Okay, just got back from my local thrift route and we did end up finding four bags of Lego Bionicle Clear. They actually had more, but these ones look like they're mostly complete. And I actually can identify one of them. I think it's in this pack right here. This guy right there at that silver mask and that cape. I've sold him and the character that he uh, rides onto. It's like a massive like spider creature. Uh, I've sold it for like $175. So I think this guy on its own might be worth like 50 to 60. So this pack was worth it. This guy already did some research on it and he sells for like around 40 to $50 per yellow. My cats are really interested in the Bionic right now. And I got some other ones that look like they're just mostly complete figures here, which is really nice. Same thing here. These ones look mostly complete. This one's also a really cool one. He's got like a massive staff. I just like the look of this Bionicle. Looks big, menacing, might be worth some decent money. So with these, usually I'll lot them up or I will take pictures of them individually and sell them on eBay. But if like they're all missing like one or two pieces here and there, I sometimes just sell them locally or like offer trade, like trade this for video games or like complete Lego sets. And sometimes those trades actually go through, but most of the time they just kind of sell for cash. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got on my trip, on my thrift route today. Oh wow, the resemblance, it's uncanny. All right, ah, well, since that thrifting venture wasn't super successful, I thought I'd uh, talk about something that's affecting me right now. It might not just be affecting me, it could be affecting a lot of resellers out there, and that is the summer slowdown. Now this is the third, I guess, season of me doing reselling on eBay, at least uh, on YouTube as well. I did reselling before, but I never really took it as seriously as I am now. Now it's like a legit side hustle. And I have to say, the three summer slowdowns that I've been a part of so far, this being the third, this is the worst, considering I probably have three to four times the amount of inventory that I have now than I did three years ago selling on eBay. Now, I wanted to talk about what you could potentially do to kind of soften that horrible summer slowdown, which was coming for everyone because it's summer holidays and people are on vacation and maybe I should probably break down if you are someone who never heard of this expression before and you don't know what summer slowdown is really what it comes down to is the fact that people aren't really thinking and they're not so concerned about spending money on things especially collectibles which is what I niche a lot into unless it's like an essential they're really out on vacation it's beautiful summer it's actually a nice day right now, thank God, after like a seven and a half month winter here. I'm happy that I'm able to at least, I could probably wear a t-shirt, but I was gonna say a sweater on right now. So there's a lot of factors that come into play when it comes to summer slowdown. That's probably the main one. People just aren't paying a lot of attention to eBay. You know, maybe a few people here and there are scrolling, you will still get some sales. But during this slowdown time, I think the best thing to do is if you have a death pile, just list like crazy. Just keep listing because you want to algorithm the trigger so that you can actually get your listings out there more and, and seen by more eyeballs on eBay because there's definitely some algorithm tricks and I find that if I'm not listing for at least a week, it definitely slows everything down. So I try to list at least, even when I'm not sourcing stuff, there's always stuff in my death pile. I, I should say I try to at least list five things a week that might help. Uh, another thing is try alternatives. You don't, you know, when it comes to eBay, people might not be browsing eBay much during the summer. Maybe you could try selling stuff to a pawn shop or something like that. You know, if you have a massive amount of inventory and you're uh, in a city that or a town that has a pawn shop, go there and sell it. We've actually done that recently. Uh, there's two things that we did recently uh, that really opened my eyes. I wish I actually filmed it and talked about it, but I, at least I'm going to talk about it now. So one of them was a stack of video games that we brought and they're, we're getting these really at the Goodwill bin. So we're spending like maybe based on weight, like 50 cents a game and we're getting at least a dollar or two dollars. And these are games that are kind of a hassle. So that's my cat in the background, if you guys can't see. Yeah, he really, 
<laughs> it's close to their food time, so he's getting a little anxious. Uh, I was trying to ignore that throughout the video, but he was getting really loud there. I thought I'd give you guys a little look at the cat. That's Pippin right there. So yeah, that really did work. It helped clear off some of the death pile. And a lot of the games there were stuff that really wasn't worth listing. I try to make like a $10 threshold for anything that I'm listing on eBay. $10 is like the least I'll actually list a price for because it's not really worth my time when it's something like less than $10. It depends on where you are shipping stuff. Shipping in Canada is very expensive. So I try to like meet $10 as that little threshold. So when things don't meet that threshold, specifically video games, I'll actually bring it to the pawn shop and they take the majority of them except for like really kiddie games here and there. But anything, even just like first person shooter games, as long as the disc is clean, they usually take it. So that's pretty good. Another spot that you can go to are consignment stores for clothing. If you're having a summer slowdown, things aren't selling on eBay because usually consignment stores will continue to take items like clothing items, which is this one spot that we found recently. We had a bunch of stuff that's in our death pile, stuff that we really just didn't have time to list. And to be honest, I'm kind of giving up a little bit on Poshmark. It's been super slow lately, though yes, I haven't been listing a lot, but it's like a double-edged sword. I'm not listing a lot and I'm not selling a lot, but even when I was listing a lot, I wasn't selling a lot. So for me, uh, I've probably had maybe 50 Poshmark sales in my entire reselling venture, and I've had Poshmark for at least a year. So uh, it's just not worth it for me anymore. So a lot of the stuff we took out of the Poshmark store or stuff that was in our death pile that we ended up accumulating at the good old bins and we brought it and we actually got a decent amount of cash for it. So that is actually another thing you could do if uh, things are slow on eBay because these are places that you'll get instant cash for your stuff. You know, you might not get as much as you would on Poshmark or eBay for these items, but at least you're gonna get something and you can maybe use that cash that you're gonna get at a pawn shop or a consignment store or any store that buys used clothing, vintage clothing, and you can use that cash and spend it at garage sales because that's really what the summer is about. So summer slowdown, you know, you're not gonna be able to sell a lot of stuff because there's other people buying stuff at yard sales as well, but you might as well use this time the best to your ability to actually go out there and source because that's what I think the best part about summer is, is the fact that there's so many opportunities to source like garage sales where the margins are really amazing and you can find some great stuff out there. It's, it's the ultimate treasure hunt. I think garage sales because you just never know. You never know who you're going to meet and you never know what you're going to buy. Anyways, uh, that's really all I want to talk about today. Just um, just something a little brief, something that I've been going through. And if you guys have been going through this as well, uh, leave your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. That being said, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.